The generation of waste in Europe has substantially increased in the past years and keeps on growing. Still today, most of it's being landfilled. Landfill means lost forever. Ideally, it should not exist. A huge quantity of the food produced in the EU is lost or wasted, both throughout the industrial chain and municipal waste, which includes households, shops and supermarkets. At the EU level alone, 40% of the bread produced is thrown away. It's time to limit landfill to the minimum and move waste practices towards better alternatives. At the Ellen MacArthur Foundation, what we do primarily is provide the quantification of the potential for a circular economy. So what are the advantages for businesses, but also for governments? The issue of landfill is the symptom of the linear model. It means that we have, in the economy, things that do not fit absolutely anywhere and that have to be buried. And frankly, it should make us think is the system uh, fit for purpose when most of the stuff needs to be buried somewhere without any hope of ever becoming valuable materials again. The European Parliament Committee on Environment recently voted to amend a European Commission proposal on waste management, increasing the recycling rate, limiting landfill to 5% and reducing half the food waste by 2030. Gli obiettivi che abbiamo fissato in questo pacchetto sono effettivamente molto ambiziosi, ehm, però io penso che siano anche obiettivi pragmatici, obiettivi raggiungibili. Ci saranno indubbiamente degli investimenti da fare in una prima fase, investimenti da fare sia sui nuovi impianti di, per, per, per i rifiuti, eh, ma anche in tecnologia e in innovazione per permettere ai nuovi prodotti un uso diverso. Eh, però è anche vero che se c'è un investimento iniziale da fare possiamo subito recuperare nuovi posti di lavoro. I think what's fascinating with the circular economy are the numbers. From the beginning, when we created the foundation, we started looking at the economic rationale for this model. We know the basic concept of a circular economy makes sense if you can design to recover materials, components and valorize everything to its highest level at all times. It makes basic sense, but you have to look at the economics and that's what we did. And we've proven time and time again with the reports there is economic rationale for a circular economy in excess of that of a linear economy. Okay, yeah, no, we were approached by a local baker called Olds, uh, who have surplus bread. Uh, it is the circular economy that we are looking at. And so our brewer, Alec, he took about six months to come up with a really good recipe. Yes, absolutely, we can deliver into Glasgow. We actually transform bread into beer. It's actually a very old tradition we're reviving. The first beer was made from bread thousands of years ago. Beer is basically made by steeping malted grain in warm water. We add the bread, the morning rolls, to the malted barley, and what this does is adds texture and body to the beer. The beer is actually quite interesting because it has the normal characteristics of a blonde beer, but there is an unusual texture and uh, flavor to it that's quite enticing. What we're doing here is using food that it's technically classified as waste, but rather than throwing it away, we're making it into food again. If this is really successful, we're gonna end up using all the waste bread and uh, eventually doing ourselves a business in this line because uh, there'll, be, there'll be no more bread to turn into beer, but this should be a long way away. We're, uh, we're, we're at the start of a, of a journey here, so we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. There seems to be a really strong consensus around the direction to take, and, and everybody is around the table private sector, public sector, economists, uh, NGOs, and the circular economy as a direction of travel seems to be inspiring most of the stakeholders. I hope that it is clear that on the economy circular economy, we play a part of the industrial development of this continent. So that even to the United States, it is clear that we cannot raise the level of ambition.